Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the modded Enter the Gungeon series. I'm going to play as the robot this time around because he's a fun little chap. Let's give him a go and just belt on into a run straight off the bat. We'll, uh, we'll get ourselves some freebies as well, why not? We always like a few freebies to start us out. It's just, it, I think they just make the, the runs potentially more fun. Because it kind of gives you that Paradox esque -star, start, but as other characters. Um, and obviously you can get kind of a wide variety of stuff, so I kind of like it. And I'm not taking the game too seriously anyways, so if it gets me the win because I get a really overpowered thing, it's fine. Also, we're playing a Robros, which makes things a little harder anyways. Maybe I'll try and go for a, a Lich Kill to up our Robros level. Maybe not, I'll see. I've been going for uh, Dragon Kills m most recently. Of course, we went with the, the, the Sell Lot of Lands last time and kind of memed on the run. So we got a Spring Heel Boots, we got the Bloated Rounds, which is a Children of Caliber item. Enemies have a chance to explode into friendly bullets on death, and we also got the Slide Tech Slide, uh, which... It just says, "Wee crash. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll see exactly what that does. Okay. This is going to be good. Uh, I'm not quite sure why it froze the water. I'll be honest. Unfortunately, it just seems that that's what the item does. But, potentially kind of useful for the electricity side of it. Just the, the, the slippy slidey is not great, but we do get a decent amount of electricity out of it, which is pretty darn good. So we'll, uh, we'll try and utilize that. I did already get hit once, which is, of course, uh, a massive blunder on my behalf. Sure hope someone gets fired for that blunder. But um, it, it is what it is. I'm liking the bloated bullets, uh, the bloated rounds, whatever it's called. Seems pretty fun. I wonder if it's going to adopt any tier effects. And by tier effects, you of course know what I mean. Yeah, so the the ice is kind of annoying. If we can get anything that, that stops us from sliding on ice, it'll be better. I guess we'll see, won't we? I guess we'll see. But yeah, imagine like if bouncy bullets affects that. That'd be so cool. Oh my god, I'm, I'm absolutely fucking up at the moment. I see you. Oh god, the ice. The ice. It's doing me in. We get the uh, the pop gun, which is pretty... Like, it's not an insanely good weapon because it is low tier, but I might get it anyway. I might just buy it and see what it's like. I get why it's uh, table... Uh, table or oh, slide tech slide, should I say. With wee crash, it makes a lot more sense now. Extra blank. I was hoping for an extra key there. Hopefully we can find a key kin around here somewhere. We shall see, we shall see. It seems like the higher HP the enemy has, the more shots they fire on death. Oh no, maybe not, because that, that enemy fired a lot. But yeah, I'm really hoping that works with other bullet modifiers. That'd be really fun. Yes, shotgun full of love is very, very nice here. I will 100% take that and be very happy with it. Be very good for our boss. And yeah, we'll see if we want to end up buying a key or if we want to go to pop gun. It depends on what chest we get. Of course, we have the Among Us room here. I kind of love it. It's it's a bit janky, but I kind of love it. But yeah, I suspect this is going to be a pretty good weapon for us here. Very accurate. Okay, ammo. Obviously, the charm as well is pretty nice. I'll open that up just in case I get, like, two keys from the boss or something. So it's unlikely to happen at this point, but you, it can. I wonder what the chances of that happening actually are. I don't know. I forgot I've got spring heel boots and can double roll. I was like, what the hell's going on? Why am I sliding around so much? But it's because I'm double rolling every time. I'm just trying to spam the roll button, but... Rolling multiple times. Easy. Ammo that I don't need to take yet. I'll leave that behind for now. <laughs> Round chest. Okay, I think I'll buy the pop gun then. Let's see what it's like. Um. Oh, it's one of these, I see. Interesting. 
Don't know how good this will end up being, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, one of those is stuck. Seems pretty good so far, damage-wise. It's not going to be as good as this bad boy, though. Right, this guy's going down quickly, there you go. The accuracy bonus that you get as, as the uh, as the robot. And there you go, look, we got the double key drop. Wow. I wasn't actually expecting to get it, but it's nice when it happens. Ammo right here. We can actually buy another key as well, which is rather nice. I could go to the tree room, I suppose. Get the extra chests. Maybe I'll go down this way. Good. Fill the room up. Explode that damn tree. Wait for the fire to disappear. There you go. Yeah, why not go down here? We got extra chests and stuff down this way, so why the heck not? Can't remember the last time I went to the jungle anyways. It was probably like a few episodes ago, but still. Why not? It's a little bit of fun, isn't it? It's a little bit of fun. Preparing for a very good weekend at the moment. Um, my girlfriend's parents are coming down for the weekend, and we're going to go to the Italian and probably go out for lunch and stuff. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. I'm really excited to go for an Italian. It's been a little while since I've been, been out for one, and I do very much like it. I'll probably just end up using my shotgun for love for the most part here. Um, just probably saving like 40 or so ammo for the boss. Dun, dun, dun. I really ought to uh, let the charmed enemies kind of do their thing more often. Okay. The shot speed on this this gun isn't exactly great. I think um, if you could up the shot speed on it, it'd maybe be a bit better. Okay, unfortunately, I charmed him with no one left to, for, to shoot at him, or him to shoot. One minute. Sorry, I just had a huge sneeze there. <laughs> had to pause really quickly. That sounded very abrupt, that's why. Okay, I managed to charm him. Good, good. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. this gun's very, very good. This gun's very, very good. Gains max ammo on killing enemies, I believe. Yeah. Basically, this thing has... Oh, that was a really bad hit. This thing has near-infinite ammo if you use it correctly. Basically, you just don't want to use it on bosses, and then you, you kind of have infinite ammo with it. Very, very good. You just gotta be very, very ammo conscious when you're using it. Not used too much. And I like that. Okay, so we do have a dud chest there. Probably the one that I won't open. Unless I get the keys for it, I will have to get the keys, but. Yeah, as long as you spend less than 10 ammo per kill, you're in the money. So, like, this enemy, we probably don't want to use it for. In fact, let's, uh, switch to this. These guys, easy peasy. Thank you for that. Got enough for a key now as well, pretty much. Good, good, good. Oh, come on now. That was a bit of a waste of ammo there. In fact, that enemy's got a kind of large health pool. If 
Fuck it, we got there in the end. And then yeah, refill that bad boy up. Hey, there's our other chest that we want to be taking. We got a shrine here, maybe? No, gun muncher. Honestly, I'm going to gun munch the, the, the pop gun with the teapot. Because the teapot I'm definitely gonna, not, not going to use. And the, the pop gun is fine. But I don't think I get a lot of use out of it. So let's, let's munch and see what we get. Eh, probably not anything any more useful, I'll be honest. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Enemies like this are the best. Because it's literally like one or two bullets to kill. And you get so much ammo for them. Good, good, good. Okay. Basically, last thing to find now is just our shawl. Also, apparently, I need to go and just check. I think I disabled the garbage collector accidentally recently, and I don't know if it's re-enabled. Or I, 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 I did something wrong. I don't know. Um... I don't know if I can find the message here. Garbage collector toggle. Okay. I think that's correct now. That should reduce the lag. Because I'm a dumbass. But basically. The way that the message is it reads, it makes it it made it sound like I'd accidentally disabled the mod, and so I was re-enabling it. Turns out it's a complete other way other way around. The garbage collector is something you want disabled, not enabled, which wasn't clear to me. Mainly because I dumb. Now this. This is what we want to see. So much ammo. Up to 700 on this bad boy. You see what I mean? This thing's just got near infinite ammo. It's awesome. 728 now. Obviously, it, do it does mean you have to like be a little more careful with the weapon than you otherwise would be with a normal gun. I don't really mind that. Really? That mushroom managed to dodge those shots? Are you kidding me? Where are you, spider? There you are. Free chest? No free armor, though. And here we have the finger guns. We have key. And we do have another key that's 30. We might not be able to afford. Great, thank you for that. Real, real good for that, thanks. Super, 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 super happy to get literally nothing. And I don't have the mod that makes them do something at the moment either, so it literally did nothing there. Now this is, this is the room. One bullet kills. A ton of these guys. Nearly a thousand max ammo. A thousand max ammo now. Beautiful stuff. And what's this other room over here? We've got so many rooms to go to right now. We have enough for our other key if we want to buy it as well. Charming the hell out of all of these guys. Okay, go buy the other key. Do I want to open my brown chest? Maybe? Yeah, why not? Why not? It's fine. We do it, like, we could just munch more stuff, to be honest. Like, this thing's not that good. Maybe I'll, um... Oh, it's full. I, thought, I forgot you can't munch more than once a floor. Darn tootin'. 
Right, let's grab this thing. Got enough ammo in it to make this work. The accuracy means we can use this at a bit of a range and not worry so much about missing shots. Luckily we can clear out some of the poison as well there. That was a very easy fight. We get a lot of armor. We get ourselves the third eye. I can't remember exactly how the third eye works. There was once um, a man who tried to peer across the veil of the Gungeon to find new treasure, but it drove him to madness. This item is said to be made from his third eye, which is all that remains of him. Allows viewing of rooms not yet explored, may cause some corrupted enemies to appear. Nice. I like the idea of that. Let's get gone. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Good floor. Managed to open all the chests, that's always a bonus. I love the fact that that floor has an extra third chest now. It's great because, like, having the third chest, a lot of the time you might not be able to have the key to open it, but it just gives you one more chance at a better quality chest. And I think that that's great. I mean, you might sometimes get the chance to open all three, but most of the time you're only going to open one or two. But it just gives you that extra chance to roll a high quality chest, which I, I really love having. As soon as we get ammo for this bad boy, it's game over. But yeah, basically it reduces that kind of fog of war effect that you normally have in this game. Where you can't like see into rooms across from you. Hello. Wasn't expecting you. T-shirt cannon. But yeah, like here, look, we can see like this fog of war thing has sort of been removed. Okay. Why is that my secondary right now? Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. And there's one of those corrupted enemies. Probably come across a good few up throughout this run now, but I think they're cool. And I think they can drop special stuff as well, so. Lobs are very good for extra ammo. Don't want them falling in the pits. So we can kind of see into the rooms before we get into them, which is it's pretty it's pretty useful. I think it helps us find secret rooms too, if I remember correctly. We're getting a lot of these chests at the moment, which I'm not quite sure why that is, but I'll accept it. It's extra items. And we get ourselves the Arc Pistol, which I do not mind. We also get ourselves the uh, Eye of Artemis, original AI. Is this the one that does the homing thing? Um, yeah. This one's kind of interesting. decent. It's pretty good. A pretty cool looking weapon as well. I want to use the arc pistol for a little bit here. Definitely want to use this on this room. Good. Wow. What is going on with these chests right now? Is this something to do with the eye of our, uh, the, the eye of whatever it's called, the third eye? I'm going to guess it is. We are getting a lot of stuff right now. Good thing is about this uh, this weapon, pretty much infinite range. It's always going to arc towards the enemies and have that sort of semi-herming feel to it. It's not exactly herming, but it, it, it effectively is. 
kind of attracts the shots towards enemies. Up to a ton of ammo on this bad boy. Not a particularly hard one here, but that does not guarantee anything. Good. Good, good. I can't exactly remember how to get these last ones, I'll be honest. Hmm. I can't remember how to get these last ones. I'm gonna try. Nah, that's not gonna work, is it? I, I have no idea how to get these last ones. I'm just gonna wing it. Damn it. Doesn't matter. Got some broccoli armor. Lightweight armor. Um, good for nimble movement that makes it much harder for engineers to keep their footing. Okay. Don't know how wearing more armor could make you lighter, but I won't question it. What the hell? We got the cast brick as well, oh god. There seems to be uh, sounds emanating from the walls. Significantly increases warm and spawn rate. Sounds like a lot of fun. I'm guessing it won't take effect until the next floor. At this point, we can probably just use this gun normally and not have to worry about the ammo, but still, I'd like to see how high I can get it up. Just what is going on right now? These chests are so common. We get ourselves the Death Warrant, which I think I know what it is already, but I'll check. Yeah. It's the one that I, it's the one that I recognize. We do have to go through this room, which I hate, because this room has gotten me killed before. This room's longer than it normally is, isn't it? What the hell? And that's pretty good. Is that one armor per floor? Piece of armor. Another piece of every floor. Yeah. Thought so. Very happy with that. Very happy with that, indeed. We got our boss here. Let's go. Okay. Um, I think we just want to go with our, our shotgun again, to be honest. Yeah, that death warrant is exactly the one I expected it is. We've, we've had this item a few times before. It's pretty good. Visual looks really cool, too. We did manage to eat, unfortunately. Easy enough, this weapon is slapping right now. And we get a uh, double tap, which is very good if I remember correctly. Isn't it just like shadow bullet chance like crazy? Um, Increased projectile fired. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it just adds like a bunch of shadow bullet chances, which I, I very much enjoy. Right, down we go. Health is looking healthy right now. Extremely so. Extremely so. Come on, what's the game doing? There you go. Yeah, this is definitely looking like a good bullet hell run so far. We we have a lot of HP, pretty good weaponry. These two on their own are like kind of carrying. I should be killing the Death Warrant enemy first, really, because then it'll transfer the Death Warrant to another enemy. We can, I think it's deal more damage to the Death Warrant en enemy. 
can't remember exactly. I just like the animation it has, it's really good. It lets us see which one of them is the real one, which is useful. Still want some more bullet effects that can pair nicely with our uh, the bullets friendly shots on kill thing. I think that would be fun. Now, big boy. Time yourself. Shop time. Probably just want to buy the key. We do also have the tall tail hat. I don't recognize that. I am going to buy the key first, but I am very tempted by that. I'll see if I can afford it. In fact, I'm pretty sure after this I can afford it, right? Oh, I only give me three. God damn it. But it's by, it's by Knife to a Gunfight. I feel like if it's something from Knife to a Gunfight I haven't seen, I have to pick it up because it's just... Such, poten such a high potential for it to be cool as shit. I feel Gunfight has the coolest stuff. It might be pretty basic, you never know. Like, there's, there's a, a very wide variety in what you could get, but I feel like I just have to find out. Amazing. That, it's the Doug Dimmerdale... Hat for my hat. Um, in the wild frontier of the Gondromedon region, it was a well established tradition that the scariest fellow wore the tallest hat. This particular um, myrtle? Myrtle of 10,000 gallon hat can store all sorts of neat tricks inside. It seems to give us a stat upgrade. Uh, let me just see exactly what the stats were. I get um, a little bit more damage, and I think that's. Reload or fire rate? I, I'm not quite sure. Still, I'm happy to have a very giant hat upon my little head. I am the the small guy with the big hat. Let's just fight our boss now while we're here. Why not? As long as he doesn't spawn too much fellas, this shouldn't be too hard at all. Easy enough. Boss is out the way with. We get ourselves our cash blaster. Oh god. Mimic. Wasn't expecting it. Haven't seen a war mimic yet, but I suppose we're not like hitting all the walls, so that's maybe why. Um, although now, we have the ability to hit all the walls. There you go. There's one. They don't all drop items, though. Yeah, so what I want to be doing is I want to be going... Grab, grab, grab my arc weapon, grab the fossilized gun, and just, like, blast all the walls of every room to try and find wall and mix. Because why the hell not? There's a, a baby good mimic... Fighting me there. Oh god, I, I dove right into that. Oh god! For some reason I assumed I was immune to fire. That is definitely not the case, you fool. Oh, Synagris, I didn't know you were here. You could have made your presence aware earlier. Dude. What is it that's igniting? D does the electricity gun ignite the fire? It might. <laughs> it might. I did not know that, if that's the case. I mean, it would make sense, I guess. Put a spark on fire, on oil. No? Maybe it's just explosive enemies, then. Seems to be the case, yeah. I knew there was one in here still.
Having the ability to roll twice and like clear off double the amount of uh, double the amount of fire at once is pretty good. Wait, there is something shooting at me. Hello. Hey, there you go. We got our first item from one of them. I'm just going through all the rooms I've previously gone through now and uh, seeing if I can find any wall mimics. Oh, for God's sake, that was a bad hit. What the hell hit me then? Oh, was I still on? I might have been still on fire at that point. That, that, that might have been my bad. That might have been my bad. I have lost a lot of health doing this, but I will not give up. I really should be using a stronger weapon to uh, take out the war mix. It'd be a lot faster. We got spring roll, which I think is just roll stuff, I guess. Let's check. Um, a literal spring, a coil of metal wraps around the seaweed wrap, squeezing the roll tight. The crunchy taste is, unsurprisingly, an awful experience. At least you can have a spring in your step. Yeah, it seems faster. Yeah, let's clear the room first this time. I feel like my main mistake is not being clearing the room prior. That is a long leg spike. Wow. Nice one, game. Sometimes I don't even see where the woman is. Maybe we should use the pitchfork. Oh, wait, actually, maybe don't use the pitchfork. That's going to set everything on fire. That's an idiotic move. Oh, shit. This thing's lighting up. Hey, that's a good item to use. And we have a synergy with it? No, that's just the parasitic hat. I thought, I thought it was the mutagen, whatever it's called. Rather large heartbeat going on. What we get here? Glacier, it's fine. I knew there'd be one in here as well. Fuck you. Can't hide from me, buddy. Oh, there's poison! Where's the poison coming from? Where the hell is the poison coming from? What do I have that's causing poison? I don't know. God, I took a lot of damage to this floor. Apparently there's still more of it. Yeah, what, why, why is everything exploding into poison? What's that about? Do I have poison explosions? What item is giving me poison explosions? I literally have no idea. Oh my god. The amount of damage I've taken on this floor is obscene. So many mushrooms in this room.
Emerging Floaters, not so bad when I'm taking this much damage. Okay, we're good to go. Good to go. This has been a hell of a ride so far, and I'm sure that I'm probably going to take more damage and die due to my antics. I will not quit. I will not, I will not falter, I will not stop. Regardless of setting entire rooms on fire during combat being a terrible idea. I'm going to keep doing it. I just need fire immunity, that's all I need, and I'll be fine. I can just get fire immunity. Everything will be okay. The game's being a bit of an ass, not giving it to me when I want it. <laughs> the hat. Anyone here? No? Oh, we revealed one randomly this time around. What the fuck hit me then? I don't even know. There's another bloody one in here. Oh, I got hit again. Oh my god, why am I such a big fool? Not the weapon I wanted to use, but there you go. Okay, let's try and save this run, because I have I have thrown it directly down the shitter so far. I mean, that's not inconspicuous at all, is it? <laughs> I wonder where the wall mimics are in this room. <laughs> We got Junkin! Hey oh Any more in this room? Because I know that I can see them through the walls before I enter the room though. There's one there, look, there, there's two. <laughs> That's so cool. It's good to know that I can see them like that. I can see you there, prick. See you there as well, fool. We have so much money on us because we're getting five for every one of these we kill. I see you as well, good sir. You got revealed straight away, my good guy. I just didn't even try to avoid that damage. My brain. What's, what's wrong with my feeble brain? Why can't I see all these things that are hitting me? Does anyone know? Does anyone know what's wrong with my brain? It has damage. It has damage. This is such a cool run, and it's gonna die. Because I'm... I love the wall mix. I mean, I see a few guns and things in here. There's a lot going on right now. Dude... Who the fuck just pushed me? I thought it was Junkin, but I think it was one of the beanbag boys. Dude, fucking stop pushing me! Get out of here. Oh my god, there's so many waves in this room. See one of you up there. This needs to be armor so badly. Huntsman is pretty good. There's so many fucking enemies! Holy shit! Back off! Can this fucking guy sit the fuck still? Like a hot minute, thank you. God damn! <sighs> 
this has been a trial by fire. Wasn't reloaded for some reason. Warmamick, chilling. Look at this bullshit. Two of these motherfuckers sitting in this tiny little room. I see one of you up there. Oh wait, no. No, I don't. This is the room that I'm dying, I think. I'm just going all out with this gun now. I think it's about damn time. Another warm of me. See you there, bitch boy. There's another one over here. Fuck me. There's so many. So a few of them are dropping items. Where's the fucking shop? <laughs> Is it through the goddamn mini boss room? It looks like it's through the mini boss room. Probably gonna die to whatever mini boss this might be. Don't know who it is. It's Bullet Banker. Why is this thing not fight? Why did the gun stop fucking firing? What the hell was the gun doing? It wasn't reloading, so why the hell did it stop firing? Fuck this game sometimes. Bullshit. Tits. Why did the gun stop firing? It must have been reloading and I just didn't see it, but I could not see a reloading thing on my, like, icon. What, what was it doing? It just stopped firing for no reason. I'm gonna have to go jet back and check the footage to see how wrong I was. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely Dog shit run. No, it was very fun. Either way. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.